One of the fundamental purposes of the Constitution of the United States was to limit the size and scope and intrusiveness and jurisdiction of government, at least government at the central level, the national government. Now, why were our founding fathers so concerned with limited government? Well, part of the story is surely that they wanted to protect the individual, and not simply for the sake of individual liberty, though that's very important, uh, but also for the sake of the creativity, the initiative, the innovation that comes when the individual is liberated uh, in the sphere of life, especially that involves uh, economic uh, matters, so that uh, the individual acting on his own initiative can come up with new ideas, innovative proposals, new solutions to old problems, can come to terms with uh, new problems uh, in ways that will benefit him and benefit society. But our founding fathers were interested in limited government for other reasons too. They knew that the ultimate protection against tyranny was limiting the power of government. We've seen government grow very big in the 20th century. The central government has grown too big. It does too much and it takes too much money from people. And when it does that, it undermines families as well and other important private institutions, other institutions of civil society. If the government is controlling too much of the money, that means too little money is in the hands of families and other private uh, organizations or associations that would use the money to better effect for members of the family, members of the religious community and so forth than the government could possibly do. And so it's time to set things right. It's time to reduce the so size and scope and intrusiveness of government and get ourselves closer to the situation that our founding fathers envisaged when they planted in the very core of our Constitution this Central American principle of limited government.